Alright, so today I'm on duty. It's bank holiday, it's quiet, there's not much going on today. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the gym. So the facilities that we've got here are really good. Probably one of the best facilities we've got in the army. However, most camps, or pretty much every camp in, within the army, have got facilities similar to this, some even better than this. But I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the gym, let you know what the gyms are like within the military and let you know what facilities that you've got available to you. Up the stairs in there we've got the CV suite. So obviously due to COVID some of them you can't use because you've got to be two meters apart. We know we've got the steppers, cross trainers. We've got the treadmills. So this is just a CV suite up here, but again like I said, in normal times, pre-Covid and when we get past it, we'll have another suite just like that, which is down on the other side, that will double up. So all of those machines won't be in there, won't be as cramped and we'll have double the space to work in. So in there we've got the reception, obviously this is the first part you come to as you walk in and we've got the reception desk where the Duke PTI will sit and do daily business in there. We've got the ProWise as an information board. We've got different information on it. And yeah, that's the reception, pretty much speaks for itself. Okay, coming on from the reception then, we're going to gym three. So obviously at the minute we've got the barrier up because it's a one-way system in and out of the gym. We've also got chairs over there that have been set up for a brief that will be happening. But yeah, as you can see, it's a nice big gym. Got a couple of basketball hoops. <clears throat> okay, so behind this green curtain then, this is all the equipment that we are not using at the minute because there's no training for recruits indoors but as you can see we've got plenty of bars plenty of racks benches we've got what bikes rowing machines skiing machines bike machines you name it we've got it so yeah a lot more cv equipment against some of this would probably be upstairs as well if it was in normal times but yeah for now we'll just put it behind the curtain so it's out of everyone's way as the kit's not getting used all right and then for here from gym three we're going to gym two so at the moment again because of restrictions we've got a lot of the equipment that would normally be in the weights room in here but again some of these cardio equipment would normally be upstairs in the CV suites and the watt bikes but we've got a couple more lifting platforms and racks a load of weights some bars over there a bit more CV equipment and then which would normally be in the weights room we've got the lifting machines which are all nice and modern good quality machines got a couple of benches a couple of more platforms some dumbbells again some more machines like I say all of those would normally be through here which is the weights room but clearly we need to be able to train two meters apart from everybody else so that's why 
We've had to move a lot of the equipment from here into the other gym. Here again, got more equipment, more machines. Got a good variety of dumbbells, some more benches, a couple of boxes, and at the minute, plenty of space. Okay, then, so this one, this is Gym Free. Uh, you've seen this in a couple of videos before. We've got the rock climbing wall there, got a couple of racks, got the lifting platforms some mats got a couple of punch bags over there we've uh, we've got the ropes obviously they come out we've got the beams some more basketball hoops ropes more beams and another rock climbing wall down there but yeah this is another gym which would normally be used to conduct circuits if we was back training inside. Okay then, so leaving gym, leaving gym one. Just takes you down this corridor which leads back to the main reception. Also go through the gym three in there and gym one back in there. And if we carry on going straight up, we've got the male toilets and changing rooms. And then through this doorway, in there you've got the female toilets and changing rooms. And then like I said, straight back in to the main reception. Okay, so not only have we got the three gyms inside and the weights room and the CV suites, but outside we've also got an athletics track which I think that's a football pitch in the middle or it can be used as a football pitch in the middle and then over there we've got another football pitch and a rugby pitch we've also got a swimming pool on camp we've got three other indoor slash outdoor facilities so you know the like buildings with doors on which I'll show you in another video but we've got another three facilities that we can use for training as well all fully equipped so you know if that's not what you'd call a big bonus of joining the army as well or being in the army then I don't know what is I mean in Sibby Street you've got a gym this big with all the equipment that we've got you know you've got to be paying 60 70 pound a month easily easily i know there is good gyms out there for cheap pure gym etc or whatever but you know the kit that we've got available swimming pool everything that we've got access to worth easily 70 80 pound easily i right, say so yeah i thought i'd give you a quick tour of the gym and some of the facilities that we've got available here like i say most camps throughout the army I've got gyms and facilities very similar to this, some even better, but again like I say the price you pay for a civilian gym and what you get here, you know it's, it's a great deal, definitely a benefit to joining the army, or it's at least one of the biggest benefits for me anyway. But yeah that's it for today, just thought I'd give you a quick tour, again thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video click the like button, subscribe, share it, all that good stuff. I'll catch you again soon for another video.